no, no! In my previous video on circuit bending, I mentioned that some of the really simple electronic toys were not so bendable. That's true in relation to the internals. Pretty much all of the things and functions are done in one chip. There wasn't even a timing capacitor that you could make it slow or fast. What I didn't mention was there are actually some even simpler circuit bends you can do. Along with the no button, we've got an assembly of components including resistors, diodes, LEDs and some other batteries. Looking closely at the battery holder, I find it sometimes difficult to get it to take solder, especially if you don't want it to melt the plastic. That's particularly the case with a positive connection. So here I haven't soldered it, I've just got a coil of wire and that's held against the contact with the battery I've still kept in. And for the negative connection, I did manage to solder it to the spring. No! 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 That's how it normally is. We'll take a bit of a risk. We'll go from 3 volts to 9 volts. No! 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 N. O. Well, the pitch hasn't changed, but it's much louder. What if we try some reduced voltage? We can either use resistors or diodes. Resistors may produce a different effect because of their voltage drop. This is a 150 ohm resistor. We'll just use it in conjunction with a 9 volt battery. No! 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 N O. And the volume is a bit less, but we need to add some more resistors because when you get below a certain voltage or you restrain the current, you may get some different effects, which is what we're looking for. This is a 330 ohm resistor. Here's our first real change. With the button pressed down, there's not quite enough current to articulate no, so we get this. Now what if we put another resistor across it? You could have a momentary switch here to add to the effect. No! Next thing is to put a flashing LED in series with the 9 volt battery. That's actually also in series with a 330 ohm resistor. The effect is different again. What I'll now try is remove the 330 ohm resistor because that was not quite enough for it to get to articulate no and we'll put in its place our 150 ohm resistor. The LED is a bit brighter but it's still not allowing the thing to say no. Maybe it's flashing too quickly. I should mention that I'm holding the thing pressed in all the time. With our 330 ohm resistor the LED is flashing faster and it's louder. This is a 68 ohm resistor. We'll first bridge the 150 ohm resistor with the 68 ohm. It actually does say no. We'll now put the 68 across the LED. The flashing LED's effect has now been removed with the 68 ohm resistor. We've now got another 150 ohm resistor. You want to get values that give you intermediate results. What if we were to bridge the 150 completely so it's just the LED in series with the no button? The LED is shutting power off to the no button too quickly. We'll try connecting a capacitor that will give a bit of extra lag time and might change what you hear. No, no, no. This is 2200. No, 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 no. 
It just connects the capacitor to the other side of the resistor. And the effect is different. Now we'll go back to our two AA batteries with the 150 ohm in series. Let's try instead a diode. Two diodes and it's a similar effect to what we had with the excess of resistance. So the answer is not no. You can still circuit bend something without much electronics like this no button.